What's going on guys, Grid Square here, and today, if you're like me, you're a Sony camera body user and you've just got your hands on a Sigma lens of some kind, you're probably gonna wanna update that firmware because like if you've known or read about anything, you know that uh, Sigma out of the box generally needs a firmware update to match up with Sony's autofocus, all right? So here's what you're gonna do. I tried Googling this and there was just a lot of stipulation. The forums read it like, Everybody kept telling me different stuff. And then I kept hearing, oh, you need to get a USB mount. It's, it's it's Sigma. Sigma has this USB dock you plug onto the back of the lens. Cool. So I go to the Sigma's website, and I'm looking for this little converter thing to go on the back of my lens here. Turns out Sigma does not make a USB dock for E-mount lenses. And if you were like me, you're freaking out. Because I just spent almost a grand on a cool lens, and now I don't have a way to update the firmware? Anyways... Turns out, on Sigma's own website, they've got the solution right there in black and white. No need to do all this extra crazy stuff. And the reason why this is so simple is because Sony, and I'm using a Sony a7 III for reference, Sony's camera bodies, the modern ones, already act like a USB dock. Okay, so if you've updated your camera firmware or if you've even updated a Sony lens before, it's the exact same process. Sony has this really good firmware built into the camera to where it already works like a USB, like it's updating a cell phone or something. It just runs like whatever. So really quick, in the next 60 seconds, I'm gonna give you guys exactly how to do this. And it even tells you how to do this on the website too, but I'm gonna to try to dumb it down a little bit better because they kind of, they skip a step there or your instructions are missing one thing. So what you're gonna to wanna to have is two things. Make sure you got your camera and the lens attached that you wanna update and whatever USB cord uh, you would use. Now this is the A7 III, so it's got a USB-C and a USB-A or whatever the other one is, the older version, okay? It generally doesn't matter. Now me personally, I always go with the USB-C just because it's faster and it's a more current cable and it's just what I use for everything in, uh, in my electronics. So, step one, go to Sigma's website. Find whatever lens that you have and that you want to update and go through their catalog Find it, make sure it's on the E-mount. Make sure, because they make it for all the other ones. So make sure you go to that lens, E-mount, scroll down and find the firmware update download link. All right, now you don't have to unzip anything. It's just a basic, you're, it's just an EXE file that opens. It doesn't install anything on your computer. So once you run this program, you can just shift delete and it's done. There's no crazy third party ads or nothing. It's simple and easy. So. Step one, go download the firmware, all right? Put it on your desktop or wherever you download stuff at and just stand by. Next thing, turn on your camera, make sure your SD cards are out, okay? No SD cards in this camera at all, take them out. So camera on, go into your settings, go to USB mode and change it to mass storage. This is gonna basically turn your camera body into a sort of a thumb drive, okay? So very important. Now, camera body is on, mass storage USB settings, Get your USB cord. Plug the USB into the camera. Plug it into your computer. <sighs> On your computer, open up that program. The Lens System Software Updater is what it's called. All right. Now, at this point, you can even stop listening to me and just read what's on your screen because it tells you exactly what to do. Turn on the camera, boom, 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 USB, set up, mass storage, connect the camera to the USB cable. Then you click Next on the program. Now, what it's gonna do next is it's gonna check your version. So it's gonna read the camera and then it's gonna read the lens and tell you. Now thankfully, there's only two different versions for Sigma's firmware for the email, either version one or version two. Obviously version two is the one you're gonna want. Now this is a brand new lens. Like I said, this is filmed May 1st, brand new lens right out of the box today, and it's using version one. So there is an update needed to happen. It'll tell you that. If, now, if you need to update, you just click next and then watch the magic happen, all right? If you already somehow got lucky and you have a version two, just go ahead and turn your camera off and you don't need to do anything else. So, but if you're like me, version one, tell it to run the update. It took my camera literally three seconds to process this. It kind of went so quick, I thought it messed up because last time I update, you know, firmware updates generally take a few seconds, all right? It literally, three seconds, it was done. Now. It will tell you to look at the back of your camera on your uh, LCD screen. Now, on the back of my screen, it said, "Update is lens update is complete. Please remove battery." 
Now I'm thinking to myself, huh, I don't think I kind of want to pull my battery out while the camera is on. Don't do that. Don't listen to your camera. Follow the instructions on the screen. What you want to do is turn your camera off first. So hit your button, turn the camera off, unplug your USB cable. Now take out your battery. And kind of like restarting a modem or something, I give it, you know, anywhere like 30 seconds. So I took my battery out, wait 30 seconds, put the battery back in. And technically right now you are done. However, if you're like me, I wanted to make sure that this thing went through. All right, so we're gonna kind of do this one more time just to make sure we can check the version. So turn the camera on, run the program, plug the USB cord into your camera, let the program read your camera and it should say current version is V2 and you guys are done and that's it. It's really that simple and it did make a difference. There's plenty, I'm not gonna show you guys because there's other YouTube videos that are showing the difference before and after but it genuinely did make a difference in the autofocus and just the focus speed. All right, now I'm only looking at things, you know, 10 feet away, but I'm running it at 1.4, and I could tell the, the speed and tracking of it was much better. All right, so to me, this was a much needed update, and if you're a running gun photographer, like this is, it's worth the five minutes to get this done. So hopefully that was it. If you guys have any questions, please drop me a uh, comment below. If this helped you out, give me a like, smash that subscribe button, it helps the channel grow, and I genuinely appreciate this. And uh, like I said, I'm sorry this isn't more finely edited, but this was, I'm just excited to get this lens and I'm excited to get out there. It's unfortunately raining here in Tacoma, so I can't go outside and use it. But I was excited to go out there and use this lens and update it and it just crushed me to have all run into all these issues. So I want to make this YouTube video and hopefully it gets out there. That way people can just see this, spend five minutes and fix the problem and not be like me and spend five hours trying to troubleshoot something that's so stupidly easy to fix. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. You take it easy and good luck shooting.